hello everyone so the today we will be discussing about b plus trees b plus tree is an extension of b tree which allow us to perform various operations like insertion deletion and searching more efficiently b plus tree is just an extension of b tree in b plus tree the records the data can only be stored on the leaf nodes for example, we have seen B trees in which datas or the records, we have stored datas and records both in the internal nodes as well as in the leaf nodes. There is a difference uh, in B plus tree. B plus tree data can only be stored on the leaf nodes. And the leaf nodes are linked together in the form of singly linked list, which is making search operations, search queries more efficient. For example, once I reach to the leaf node, I can traverse to the entire leaf nodes through a singly linked list. So the basic difference uh, shown in the structure is that the leaf node will only have the data and the leaf nodes are linked together with the link list. Uh, with the link list. The motivation uh, behind studying B plus uh, tree is it is making my operations uh, more efficient. B plus tree are used to store large amount of data which cannot be stored in the main memory. So for large amount of data we can use B plus tree. Due to the fact that the size of the memory, main memory is always limited, the internal nodes, the internal nodes of the tree, of the B plus tree are stored in the main memory. So the structure is something like that, that the internal nodes will be stored in the main memory, whereas the leaf nodes, the data nodes, which will have more amount of information, the leaf nodes are stored in the secondary memory. The internal nodes are also known as the index node. See, so the placing will be such that suppose I need to store large amount of data so in b plus tree in b plus tree we, we can arrange this in a b plus tree all the indexed nodes or all the internal nodes which is also known as index node in the b tree can be stored in a main memory and through the index node we can reach to the uh, we can reach to the leaf node where, which is stored in the secondary memory and through which we can access the data so it it is efficient for storing large amount of data this is a B plus tree of order three. See, it can have B plus tree can have two orders. One order is uh, one order will be of internal nodes and other order will be of leaf nodes. This order specified puts the restriction on these internal nodes, whereas the uh, maybe if it is given an, another order also, it will store the number of keys that can be stored in the leaf node. So it can have two orders also. And if it is if there is no two orders, you can consider three order for both for this also and for this also right so b plus tree in which the leaf nodes these are the index nodes these nodes are stored in the main memory and these are the leaf nodes this can be stored in the um uh, this can be stored in the uh, secondary memory so this is the structure uh, one thing to note is that these leaf nodes are connected to each other through a linked list so the search operations become efficient once you reach one leaf node you can traverse through the linked list and you can find the data of another node second operation is that uh, second operation is this uh, like uh, in in a b plus tree of order 3 the, the rules for internal nodes the rules for internal nodes are same as that of the b tree whereas the rules for this are bit different than a b tree so this all the internal nodes including the root node will follow the same rule as that of the b tree whereas this will follow a bit different rules moreover moreover the structure of these nodes internal nodes and the structure of this node is different right so the structure of this node and the structure of this node is different in b plus tree right this is uh, this is my uh, uh, internal node the structure is same as that of the b tree whereas these are the leaf nodes the structure is different every key is associated with one pointer which will point to the data in the database right and they are having one extra pointer which will point to the next node so this is the case so the structure of this will be every key will have a pointer part which will point to the data in the database right and it is having one additional pointer which will point to the next sibling which will point to the next sibling right so this the all this improves the performance of b plus tree so we will now see what are the structures of uh, what what is the structure of the, these internal nodes and these leaf nodes as we know the structure of this and this is different 
see the structure of internal notes that means these notes including the uh, root note the structure of these internal notes is exactly same as that of the b tree so it will follow the same rule so nothing difference these are the same rules which we have studied for b tree the internal node is in, in the form of p1 k1 p2 k2 where p1 p2 pc1 and pc pc are the keys where c is the order of this tree sorry a is the order of this tree all right so the a is the order of this tree so p1 p2 uh, are the subtrees whereas k1 k2 k3 are the keys so this is same as b tree so these are the keys and these subtrees are p1 p2 every internal node uh, you know the keys are arranged in certain order the search can be done in certain sequence for example if i if i want to search something less than 5 i will go to this tree if i want to five if i want to search something greater than 5 i'm going to uh, towards this subtree so the third rule is same the internal node has at the most a tree pointer since it is of order a so it can have maximum a children the root node have at least two tree pointers this also is the same rule as that in the b tree that the root node can have maximum minimum two pointers and, and maximum it can have a child pointers and all the internal nodes except the leaf nodes all the internal nodes can ha should have at least seal of a by two tree pointers this is also the same rule as that of the b tree that all the internal nodes should have minimum a by two seal ch uh, child pointers if the internal node of c pointers if if it is having c pointers then every node should have c minus one key so this structure is exactly same that of the b tree the rules are also exactly same except that of the leaf node which has a different structure so this is a simple structure that we have done for b tree also uh, these are the subtrees these are the keys if i want to find something less than this key i need to go towards this if i want to find something between this and this i need to go towards this subtree so this is same so you can read this once again same rule of internal and the root node as that of the b tree nothing new till now now the structure of the leaf node see the structure of the leaf node is something like this every key is associated with one pointer every key is associated with some pointer which will point to the data which is a data pointer which will point to the data in the uh, in the database which is in the secondary storage so these are the data pointers and it, it, they are having one extra pointer which will point to the next node as we can see so each leaf node is in the form of k1 d1 k2 d2 kc c now the uh, leaf node is of order b the internal nodes were of order a and the leaf node is of order b so they both can have two different orders apparently we can have two different orders one for leaf node and other for all the internal nodes and if it is not given two different orders you can consider same for both so uh, so the leaf node is in the form of this so d is the data pointer which will point to the actual record in the disk and this is the pointer which will point to the next node each leaf node has so the keys in the leaf nodes are arranged in some proper order each node leaf node have at least this values see this is this is difference this each leaf node has at least seal b by 2 values if the order is b b by 2 seal values it should have right all the leaf nodes are at the same level so this is the only difference in the leaf nodes and the structure is bit different so you can see it is having key data pointer key to k2 data pointer and so on and one pointer which will point to the next node so in b plus 3 the difference is only that there all the internal nodes and the root nodes are act as an index nodes all the values or all the records are stored in the leaf nodes there is a pointer uh, which will point to the next node next leaf node and every key value in the leaf node is associated with a data pointer which will point to the data in the disk right now now we are going to uh, discuss once we get it what is the difference between so you can see you can see these are all the index nodes these are the data nodes this data nodes will have two parts one is key part and other will be and data point which will which data pointer which will point to the actual record and these are the pointers which will point to the next record so how the insertion and deletion is done we will see this later but first see what is what what is the advantage of uh, b plus 3 records can be fetched in equal number of disk access as we can know uh, all the information is stored in the leaf nodes so uh, every record can be accessed using the same disk access height of the tree remain balanced so this is a balanced tree 
we can access the data records in the B plus tree sequentially as well as directly. So, see, uh, we can access the record sequentially also. See, once I reach there, I can sequentially traverse through this linked list to access the record or I can directly go and access the record. So, this is an advantage. The keys are used for indexing. So, there are certain keys are also used for indexing. You know that these nodes are, uh, these nodes are also known as the index nodes. So, certain keys are also uh, used for indexing. Faster search queries as the data is stored only in the leaf nodes so uh, since leaf nodes uh, contains only the data so we can access the data fast and do it in the two ways both sequentially and directly so this is the difference between b and b plus tree search keys cannot be repeatedly stored search key cannot be repeatedly stored so we cannot have two keys with the same uh, two similar keys in a b tree Reductant search keys can be present so one will act as an index and then there will be one key which will be an actual record so reductant search keys can be present. Data is stored in the leaf as well as internal node in a B tree, whereas data is stored in the leaf nodes only in B plus tree. Searching for some data is slower process since data is found in the internal as well as leaf nodes. So we need we need to search an entire tree as data is present in the leaf node also and in the uh, internal nodes also. Searching is comparatively faster as data is only found in the leaf node. Deletion of the internal nodes are so complicated and time consuming. Deletion because in this we have multiple cases that if it is if the key is at the leaf node, if the key is not at the leaf node, if it is at the sum of the internal nodes, we so we need to replace by its predecessor and successor. Whereas in this deletion will never be a complex uh, since the elements to be deleted is always on the leaf node. So we do we ha don't have to do that um, replacing uh, replacing with in order success successor or predecessor. The leaf node cannot be linked together. In this the leaf nodes are linked. So with this you, you might have understood that the keys are only stored in the leaf nodes. The leaf nodes are connected which is making operations efficient moreover deletion is only done from the leaf node only so comparatively we have improved the efficiency so let's see operation search operation is very simple in this perform a binary search on the record in a current node if a record with a search key is found then return that record and if the current node is a leaf node and the key is not found then report an unsuccessful search otherwise follow the proper branch and repeat the process see the operation is same as that of the uh, bst but we have to go till the leaf nodes for searching let us suppose i'm searching 53 i'm going to start from here so since 53 is less than 108 we are going to come towards left again 60, uh, 53 is less than 60 i'm going towards the leaf node this is the data this is the actual the data nodes so i'm going to scan this node 53 is present i'm going to return that the element is present all right now let us suppose i'm going to search 201 uh, either i can search sequentially or i can search uh, directly it is greater than 108 we can come here it is greater than 190 we can come here um, but we, we can not see uh, 201 in this leaf node so we can directly return that the element is not present so the element is not present so searching is same as that of the bst and in the b3 also the search operation is same it's just that the keys or the data can be found in both internal and data nodes both internal and the leaf nodes in case of b3 whereas in b plus tree the records can only be found in the leaf nodes so uh, again um, if i'm revising that these are the index nodes these are the info nodes the data is always present in the info nodes the structure of info nodes are different each key is associated one data pointer which we point to the data in the disk and it, they are having one extra pointer which is going to uh, point towards the next node which is helping us in sequentially access of the nodes also uh, in the sequentially access of the nodes also moreover it can have two orders one order for these internal nodes and one order for these internal nodes the this uh, the rule for this is same exactly same as that of the b tree but the rules of this is a bit different so every leaf node should have minimum m by 2 keys minimum m by 2 keys so uh, see minimum m by 2 seal keys so we will see next video for the various operations and done in b plus 3 thank you